Leroy Neiman's painting of Napoleon at Waterloo was begun in 1968 when Vietnam was heating up. It took three years to complete this painting. The team came to him in stages. All we all on to men seeking glory. Neiman's restless brush began to entertain images of splendor that ripened into arrogance. A chance visit to the Paris Opera drew his eye on the grand uniforms of the elite French guard. Napoleon's guard, invincible, and then one day a visit showed by bleeding it. He's one of those. He's one of those. He's one of those. He's recognized with a space face face. He would know his no guy. A hunch, a hunch. To find a head. Hence, hence, he's hitting his bung, his bung, his bung, his this word. This is visual signal situation. The Paulian hostile campaign was long with the latest was the lot of one. It was the leader that projected their to the further. Napoleon was constantly supporting for art. He loved art. He must have. He stuck with it everywhere. I'm joking. I'm looking at various, 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 was a 46-year-old Napoleon, like an old fighter waiting for the bell. He retreated, he conquered up and loved himself, and then crowned 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 himself. When Wellington's troops were poised near Brussels, ready to invade, Napoleon made his move. He escaped, seized power, 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 raised an army, and marched toward Brussels for one more shot at glory. But first, 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 all June, June, June. After losing some prolific about Lincoln made out of his defense and his hostage community of water water. Moved his troops, his sons, his horses, 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 horses to deliver the Murak at blow. Here's your matchup. Emperor France, from the land of Crepe Suzette's versus, versus Duke of Wellington, defending the roast beef of Wolfen. The two men had strikes, strike differences, and things in common. Both were just weeks apart. Napoleon fought his way to the top, a general of 26. Wellington fought his way to the top, a lieutenant colonel. That same year. Later on, on finding themselves at different times in the arms of the same women, one of whom was the Countess Grosina, possessed of very respectable politics. Outside the boudoir, Napoleon was a loner, while Wellington was a team player, showing up everywhere during a battle. The older Napoleon was a delegate with a green, sticky, 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 Physically, Wellington was at the top of his game, while Napoleon's body was beginning to go. His hemorrhoids burned and his gut ached. Still, he was cocky. But Wellington was cool enough to be attending attendance in Brussels when he heard the bird of the park attacked in the horn. Napoleon spent the night before a battle in his headquarters. In the morning, he boasts, 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 He dismisses advice to be to battle early, early, before Prussian troops arrive to help to Wellington. Napoleon, 
decides to delay until the down dries out, so his cannons will sink into the mud. Napoleon stands at this observation of host an island unto himself. Born on the island of Corsica, exiled to the island of Elba, detained in the island of Aix, he will die on the island of St. Helena. He stands in the isolation on the spot where he couldn't really see the bad bad bad. He has deployed 77,000 soldiers against Wellington when 68,000. All jailed on this rolling land, land the size of a golf course. Napoleon's first jash at Washington is to send his father to Rome with a detachment to attack this farm held by British forward troops. This is post post a prediction, but this is Jerome's first command who wants to make a showing. So he keeps attacking and attacking and losing men and losing men. You can still see evidence of some of the rounds that missed their mark. Jerome never does take this farm, even though he fought in the sense of man of men. Napoleon's saying can move and will soften up Wellington's midriff by contacting with artillery and battering with infantry. This it fails too. The reason was that Wellington understood how to use this rolling hand to deceive the enemy. Napoleon blasts his cannons. The Iron Duke's men are in the rear of the slope, protected by the Kerr 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 land. Napoleon sends his singing troops to the hill, and Wellington's men, ready to feed the city, rise to his crest to cut them. The Iron Duke, aboard his bay charger Copenhagen, chases the men of the Corsican fox with a call called the Scottish cavalry. With his gentlemanly dash, Wellington urges his troops to capture a farm, the Belle Alliance. Napoleon climbs on his white array to Desiree and sends his cavalry against the gun. reflects the man, as Tolstoy said, in War and Peace. The little corporal finally slaughters the 1,200 Scots. It costs him 5,000 men and a lot of horses. At this point, the advice he had ignored in the morning came back to haunt him. The Prussians are coming right down this road. Napoleon dispatches reserves of cavalry and troops. But he's like a fighter facing two men in a ring. The desperate emperor sends his favorite jiver jiver the redhead red nay nay with frantic and repeated cavalry attacks. The British and Dutch fight with valor. Nay nay has three horses. horses. Now Napoleon pulling nothing in reserve. Into the center that resisted nay he sends the elite imperial guard marching and chanting heroically. They fight, 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 fight they die, and they make ground. Ney asks for more troops for the coup de grace. The plane screams, where will I get them? Am I supposed to make some sacrifice nearly two million Frenchmen out of a population of 30 million? Napoleon has said, the guard knows how to die, but not how to retreat. Well, they finally got the hand of it. All was lost. Napoleon fled for his life, while Wellington wept for the dead. The, 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 the field was a carpet of flesh. Forty-three thousand dead or wounded. Ten thousand have fallen. Sit on a lonely island of St. Helena, dictating his volumes of self justification. He would leave a few more spears. 
Wellington enjoyed a hero status all the remaining 30, 30 years of his life, chasing the fox instead of the frog. The headquarters charged from here to the Napoleon never again interrupted his dancing. Meanwhile, 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 meanwhile literary labors at St. Helena paid off. They finished the history monument, the Arc de Triomphe, after Wellington gave the game the book. Imagine Wellington late in late and late hearing about the organization of the Bonaparte. First, the first year ago, transforms him from Tyre to Marta. Then the French transferred his first from St. Helena to Paris to rest right here. Under the dog, dog, dog is a police. Meanwhile, across the channel, 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 Wellington is under the dome of St. Paul's. They laid eyes on one another during their arrival, 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 except on the battlefield through Waterloo. 100,000 books have been written about Napoleon. 50,000 Waterloo by Wellington. Maybe a thousand. Who came out? See what I mean? How many of us could meet our Waterloo and come back?